Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Fanged One's Retro Wednesday series. I am the Fanged One, with you as always. And this is episode 18 of our inaugural game, about Final Fantasy VII. Released in 1997, this game follows a group of nature freedom fighters, you could say, uh, trying to stop a evil mega corporation from basically sucking the life's blood out of an entire planet and over the course of attempting to stop them they find out that the main protagonist's mortal enemy somebody who burnt down his entire town and took out his entire family is still alive and attempting to find the same basically the same promised land in the last episode uh, we took care of a couple of huge materia missions and we have returned to uh, Meadow, the town where the main protagonist is currently sitting completely comatose, overdosed on excuse me, overdosed on what is basically the planet's life energy and which has turned him basically into a well, a walking corpse, or well, a sitting corpse, I should say. Um, and this is where the final portion of the outrage at the remake comes into play, which I will be talking about at the end of this episode. So let's go ahead and get jumped in because this is going to be this is going to be a long one. Hey, Tifa. What's up, girl? <laughs> what the hell is that? The first hint that he's still in there somewhere. Nothing. You and Cloud get inside. Yep, here's weapon number two. Weapon, weapon heard you cursed it and was like, what was that? You want to smoke? I always hated this fight. Actually, let's put him in regular vomit before I send him into his bestial form, because I can't do anything once I send him into his bestial form. Now, I will admit, the, the music like, the score of this game goes so hard. God damn, that's horribly bad.
it fucking murked me and then it flew off. It just absolutely murked me and then flew off. You trying to escape? See, you got bigger things to worry about right now, my guy. No, Red, not not even close. You stopped long enough to shout. Tifa's like trying to make sure he understands like I'm here for you. I'll get you somewhere safe. Keep us in that mindset of I ain't, I ain't letting my man down again. <clears throat> we ain't together. He, he may never accept me, but that's still, as far as I'm concerned, that's my man right there. And into the live stream they go. Now, for those of you who don't really know much about the lore of this game and haven't been paying close enough attention, the live stream basically is a fluidic focusing of consciousness, uh, mental thought, basically. And it's the thought and consciousness of every person that has ever lived. And so you can imagine how much power of knowledge and thought that actually is. Which explains this. I've always wondered what she heard at that moment. Like, was she hearing, was she hearing the ancients, like the actual ancients saying things? And as she runs, she calls out for help. And it makes you wonder if this, because they are they are in Cloud's mind, basically Cloud's consciousness at this point, and you have to wonder if she was hearing something from the other beings in the live stream, and when she called out for Cloud's help, when she called out for his protection, basically that instinct kicked in, and so Cloud did in his broken state, the only thing he could think of to do, he literally enveloped her in him so she was protected and he was taking all the brunt of it because it's kind of what Cloud does his consciousness his yeah Where do we start?
a sealed up secret wish tender feelings that no one can ever know <clears throat> that starry night at the well the promise we made then what if that memory was all a lie the gates of Nibelheim five years ago Sephiroth passed through these gates and that's how it all started Yeah, it'd be best to start from here. This is what we also as the as the players know. Gramps in. The only truck that had been there since they were kids. It's the same as hers. <laughs> Five years ago, two men from Soldier came. Sephiroth <clears throat> and a young and vibrant soldier. Can you tell me again what happened? And I like the clouds just kind of standing there broken and just arms head down, can't make eye contact with anybody. In every version of this, he asks that question. I remember thinking to myself, in every version of this, Sephiroth asks that question. How does it feel to be back home after a while? If that wasn't Cloud that walked in, who the hell was he talking to? I remember a foreboding about him. He was just, no. I've been hiding it for some time, afraid that if I told you something terrible might happen. But I'm not gonna hide anything anymore. <clears throat> you weren't here, Cloud. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited. But Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. There's nothing I can say. Tifa realizes at this moment that she did the most damage to Cloud. Her trying to make the decisions for him caused way more damage than Sephiroth ever could. Now she has to let him do this. She can guide, but that's all she can do. Now we're going to the well.
God, the sky is so beautiful. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I was wearing these clothes. <laughs> you were so small then. And cute. Sephiroth once said, Cloud made up his memories by listening to my stories. Did you imagine this guy? No, he remembered it. That night, the stars were gorgeous. It was just Cloud and I. We talked at the well. That's why I kept thinking about... That's why I kept thinking you were the real Cloud. I still believe you're the Cloud from Nibblehead. But you don't believe in yourself. Let you mention it, why did you want to join the soldier in the first place? I always thought it was a sudden decision. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought that if I got stronger, someone would notice. Who? You know who. You. <laughs> Me? Why? The piano. Keep his room. Now the truth was you weren't close. <clears throat> she got so defensive with that, like, damn, we were kids. Cloud, yeah. 
I realize now I was the stupid one. I love how Cloud just shakes his head like he doesn't want to talk about it, but this was the day Mom died. And I love how she doesn't remember it, basically, because he wasn't like with them he didn't go with them he followed behind them go but the third one can't because there's always that one friend in the group that just can't he got the balls but creeping along the back is cloud And that actually explains, if you stop and you give it some serious thought, that moment explains why things changed in her mind. She's like, now that you mention it, we weren't very close, but I don't know why I went to the, the, the well that night. And, you know, we weren't super close. And I didn't really think much about him, but after he left, I started to wonder this and that. And it's, when you have a traumatic event like this, you're walking across a bridge. You don't realize someone's behind you. All your friends have abandoned you. You lose your step and you begin to fall. And when you look up, there's somebody running towards you, trying to save you, trying to stop you from falling. They can't do it, of course, but instead of just letting you go, they go with you. Like they, they are so dedicated to protecting you and to you as a person that they go, like they willingly go with you. The trauma of the event is going to block the event, for the most part, from the mind. The damage and the, 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 the trauma of the fall. <clears throat> but the subconscious realization of what this person did for you will always linger. So Tifa, from that moment on, realized who her hero was. She couldn't quite recall why she knew. But on a subconscious level, she always knew. She always knew.
No, that, that wasn't. If you read subtly between the lines and the subtext of that scene, getting stronger wasn't about getting her to notice you. You would have loved to be in the group and for her to notice you, sure, but you didn't get strong because she wouldn't notice you. You blamed yourself for your weakness and got strong because you failed to protect her. So you didn't get strong and want to be like Sephiroth, thinking if I did this, she'd have to notice me. You saw Sephiroth and how strong he was and thought if I became like him, I wouldn't let her down. I wouldn't fail to protect her. That's right. And I like that, like, the shadow of his self-doubt kind of merges with him as she begins to heal. That's where the biggest secret lies. He remembered. Zach Fair. I like how this realization hits her. That this is the real cloud. It was Zach that came back. But if it was Zach that came back, why does Cloud remember it? So where where were you? And that also explains why when he put the Shinra uniform on in Junon for the parade, why it was so familiar.
And there it is. <clears throat> yes, he did. I love that Cloud's only real, like, apology at that moment is, sorry I couldn't be there a little sooner. Mother smother. It's Genova's friggin' head. Sephiroth, like, can I fucking help you? And thus explains how Sephiroth ended up encased in materia in the northern crater. He was dumped into the live stream. Live stream. Not live stream. Oh, why the hell I said live stream? the pieces of himself, including the one piece that he could never get to fit, the most important one. You stupid jerk, you had us all worried sick. And I think that confirms my theory as well, the fact that once he was whole, he could still hear the voices, but she couldn't. It does kind of lend credence to the thought that he basically wrapped her in his own consciousness so he could shield her from the damaging influence of the other voices to protect her.
crowd found himself and Barrett's like, uh, whatever the fuck that means. Like, snap the fuck out of it. Okay, so that sequence didn't take as, as long as I thought. Yeah. Yes, you are. Well, technically Tifa is, I think, but... Cloud's like, big super stretch. Tifa and Rogo. to take off the materia from other people that would normally go on cloud. I think uh, Materia is also sitting on uh, Vincent, I believe. Ah, damn it, I'm an idiot. I did not mean to do that.
All right. Now, let's go back to Medell, because I'm pretty sure the weaponsmith is still sitting there. And I could really use that sword that I forgot to pick up for Cloud. Wow, they got a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the... Where's the weapons? I don't think it's the old man, is it? Yes, you will. You'll float along just like this. Um, um where's like seriously, where's the weapon shop? That's annoying that I didn't pick up his sword. Okay, apparently I just didn't pick up his sword. Well, that's aggravating, but it is what it is. You're getting enemy skill. Oh, yeah. And the last one, let's give you... Fuck it, that one doesn't have a lot to actually gather with it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, now we head... Back to Junon, which is on this continent. Way over here, I think. Right there. Oh, 
I wonder how Priscilla's doing. Let's actually check on Priscilla real quick. Just to see how she's doing. It's, it's me. Because you're going to marry me one day? That is absolutely adorable. That's adorable. And you can kind of understand why she would feel that way, considering, you know, he did save her life. You're going to get out of my way. Okay. Ten gil to go. I'm, I'm fine with that. Fucking shin regards. Like, just go ahead and bribe me. We're all good. I don't remember like how to actually get to the underwater reactor, if I'm being honest. I wonder if they have new stuff here. I'll stop in at the shop and take a look. I don't think they do, but it's worth a look. Oh, never mind. I have no idea where you get the barrier materia. I think I missed it somewhere. In one of the shops or something. Which I'm gonna need to find out. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. I was supposed to go to the underwater reactor, which is which is here. I swear I was going the right way. No, that's the entrance to get in there. I'm going to be watching from here, so I don't get in their way either. Okay, yeah, that's the airport. Or, well, the, the helipad. That's the locker room, right? I don't know if there's any... No? Okay. Yeah, I thought I was going the right way. Bad customers. Okay. Oh, well, hello there. This is a whole new list of weapons that I've never seen before. It's a bunch of the older ones. I'm sorry, what the hell is in here?
Oh, there's a second enemy skeleton here. This is all just like tutorial shit. Okay. Thirty-fifth soldier. I know those are a thing. It's all the cats. Jesus Christ. Of course, I was here studying. Of course, you were. And they're just rolling back and forth. That's hilarious. I don't know what the hell you're forgetting. They charged off in the complete wrong direction. Whoever survives gets to take her out. What is both of us? Yeah, no, that that is the exact question you'd be asking when you're facing Cloud. That is a hundred percent the correct answer. Yawn, I'm sleepy. For Junon! Where there's something you can do with this dog too. I mean, there used to be, and it like got, got patched or something. But I swear there was. Form done. Of 
one second here, guys. Sorry about that, I could not find my charging cord for the controller to save my life. Damn, this thing is so far down. But then again, I mean, it is it is the underwater reactor, so it would make sense that it's super far down. Now that I stop and think about it. And there's the dolphin. There's your little dolphin, buddy. Oh, that, that, that one doesn't actually hit him, like all the other ones do? There's a shark right there. That is, I'm sorry, that is still one of the strongest attacks at this point in the game. It does cost a decent amount of MP though. So considering, considering that, I may want, I may want to put the MP, uh, the MP plus materia on Red 13. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to do that. give him at least another two uses of trying. invest in more potions. I did not realize I was that low. You were not getting this huge material, you want to bet? Yeah. 
Damn it, I did not mean to do that. Hopefully she can kill him before Cloud attacks. Cloud's literally gonna hit himself. We are after the huge materia. That is a hundred percent correct. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. guys are everywhere. That was incredibly weak. I'm actually a little embarrassed how weak that was. Oh, she actually missed that for the first time in quite a while. So considering how low Cloud's health is, I think... Two of those never hurt anybody. Okay, yeah, that works. Is that really a huge materia? Because it looks just like a fairly large one, like... Come on, boys. Oh, look! It's Reno! At least I think that's Reno. Also, here's a hint, like, maybe don't put it in the only red sub you have. Makes it much easier to see. This fight is a bitch. 
It usually is, anyway. Let's see, uh, let's see if Trine helps. That does so much damage. That does just so much. Damage. I'm gonna need two people dedicated to healing at all times. Uh, one second, I'm getting a message on Discord. That's a decent amount of damage. Not great, but decent. around with this thing. Because that thing gets like a damn truck. Okay, you're gonna miss. I'm fine with that. No, I want to save that, actually. Uh, I might use Comet. Yeah, I think I might actually use Comet. No, because I think he's about to hit that laser as soon as it loses its other arm. Nope. Well, hold on. Actually, that might be useful. I have no idea if it will actually do decent damage or not. Oh, that did hella good damage, actually. I didn't hit all this. 
Oh, still enough though. I missed the last two moves. God's hand, huh? There's already one submarine. There's still one there. I do want to equip God's hand, though. Oh, that is much... That, that is at least two materia slots. What the hell are in those two slots? Destruct and... Kajata? Battle Trumpet, that's for Kate Sith, which we're not going to be using. That's for... I want to say that's for Vincent. with the power of water? I'm guessing that's the Leviathan Summon, but how do I use it? Oh, hold on. I can actually use, apparently. Very nice, Red. Yeah, no, sorry, we are definitely taking over this ship. There's literally nothing you can do to stop that. Down we go. Y'all gonna try to fight me? Maybe we shouldn't piss them off. Yeah, you really shouldn't. Oh, thank you for literally moving everybody in the direction they should have been facing. I appreciate that. That was immensely helpful. The red hit that, that somersault bite is hard as fuck. That's uh, actually Cloud's victory move.
Were we supposed to bring... Were we supposed to bring Sid with us? That was so simple. Return to Janon Dock. We got a huge materia in the water that we need to get to eventually. It will not be today, however. me up again and I'm not paying no goddamn 10 gil this time no seriously I can't I can just beat you up that's dumb you're Shinra just beat him up different kind of airship those ones look um really dumb like really dumb Looks like we're going to Rocket Town. Oh, you know Sid's going to want to go. Like, you a thousand percent know Sid's going to want to go. I wonder why he's not here. The ruby weapon is supposed to be right there. It's one of the few Final Fantasy bosses 
I have never defeated. Anything new? No? Okay. Like, I've, I've even defeated most of the optional ones in 8. Um, Eden, Ultima Weapon, all that stuff. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, 9. I want to say I've defeated most of the side ones in 9 as well. I've defeated everything in 10. Like, I've be, I have 100% in 10. Uh, I can't say I've 100% in 10 too, just simply because I wasn't going to put in the effort to actually... Uh, uh, actually 100% that one simply because it's aggravatingly annoying there we go that's the spell I was missing I thought it was here you know what if I try doing this without Sid he's gonna freak the fuck out I just, I 100,000% know he's going to freak out. Triple? Um, yes. Give me barrier and exit, just simply for, uh, no. That might help level them up a bit. I could probably do a lot of damage to Materia with that triple, actually. Just give up. You're not going to stop me. Is there seriously no music here? That's crazy. pretty much. Wow, I do not like the lack of music here. That is really unsettling. It is just super, super unsettling, and I don't like it. You already hit her, you idiot. Oh, that is 100% dead. That, that kick, man. Okay, so that was 300, so we've got to be nearing... Gotta kick these fucks out of my Shinra rocket. 
Yeah, I'm I'm keeping sitting sitting here for a while. As with that with that triple, he's just too valuable. Like, because there's a lot of stuff I gotta get with barrier. There's a lot of room I gotta make up. Not to mention, he'll be the most useful for getting all the other ones up as well. I want to say Reno and Root are up here. Yep. Or we'll just, just Root, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Root, but you, do, you really do not stand a chance right now. Like, I hate being that guy, but... This is gonna hurt so bad. This might have actually been overkill. Okay, the, the sound for this summon is really unsettling with no music. Oh, I'll be damned. Holy shit, he is still alive. Hit this fucker with Comet. Sorry, Rude. Oh, too bad. You mean those guys over there? Seriously? I literally just beat Rude. And you think you can take me? <clears throat> like, I literally just defeated Rude and you think you can take me. That's hilarious. Although it is another almost 200, uh, or almost 300, uh, AP, so there's that. <laughs> what are you talking about? I love it how, you know, Cloud's like, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? And, and Sid literally, he's like, shut the fuck up. Going into space has been my lifelong dream, and that might be what this is, so you just sit down and shut the fuck up. And Cloud's like, oh, well, whatever. It's his, it's his dream. Let him be.
Shut the hell up. So, you have to ask your, you have to wonder and ask yourself if Rude is still unconscious on the uh, rocket platform. Because if Rude is still unconscious on the rocket platform right now, which most likely he is, considering he got beaten into unconsciousness like three minutes ago, um, he is very, very dead right now. Rude is very, 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 very dead. Like, he's not just very dead, he is very, 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 very dead. Course is set. just in case of emergencies, just like this. Yeah, that is 100% what you wanted. You just want to go. You just you just want to go to space, and that's okay. This is a four-digit code. I am not going to look it up. I'm just going to try to guess.
Yes, you told me that already. Come on. Damn it. I lost the huge materia. That's aggravating. And you know what the worst part about it is? I actually just looked it up and I pressed the code in multiple times and it didn't take it. That's aggravating. No time to worry about other people. Or it could have been fuck with an exclamation point. That you're really fucking stupid. Yes, she was. I love how he actually apologizes that time. Like, fuck, sorry. The beginning of what is basically their happy relationship. He spent a long time being an abusive asshole because he thought she made a mistake. Now, they get to actually have a happy relationship.
escape pod coming back into orbit. The rocket with the huge materia still on it. Look at how tiny that rocket is. Like, that's not gonna do shit. And for a second, everything's quiet, everything's hopeful. And then, everyone sees the truth. <clears throat> Not only is Meteor still coming, all you've done is made it worse. All you've done is made it worse. You turned one large projectile into a dozen large projectiles. Doesn't matter though, because it's a planet killer no matter how many pieces it's in. So I can't, can't really say they made, they made it any worse. It's going to kill the planet no matter what. It's not like it wasn't going to kill the planet before and now it is. Like, you're still fucked. I kind of hoped it'd work. Yeah, same. Okay, what'd you come up with, Sid? That's actually a good outlook. Playing this little kid sick and trembling in the middle of a dark unforgiving universe and needs somebody to actually look after it and protect it. Nice. That someone is us. Yo, Sid, you even got me, man. Gonna protect the planet from Meteor, Sephiroth, and anybody else that comes along. All right. To Bugenhagen. Okay, so we've got a couple of side quests left to do. Um, or I'm sorry, a couple of main quests. There we go. A couple of main quests left to do. Uh, we got to go to Cosmo Canyon and we have to go back to Midgar eventually, uh, which I want to say is just after Cosmo Canyon.
and then the last area i want to say it's just those three that are left but we've got a lot of side stuff left to do um, i've got this game for another six days i believe by my count so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend three of those days recording and i usually record somewhere between two and three episodes per day of this while i'm, while I'm doing it and i'm going to spend the next six days doing nothing but recording this because uh, i lose it basically uh but what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend three of those six days doing side quest stuff uh, i'm going to do there's a lot of like there's something for where up comes from there's something from where vincent comes from kind of there's the chocobo stuff there's gold saucer stuff to get cloud's final uh cloud's final limit break and that one is going to be the most interesting because it's the most time consuming uh and then i'm not sure if i mentioned it but the chocobo stuff i'm going to be doing a lot of the chocobo stuff offline it's so time consuming it's basically just capture chocobo make sure it's the right sex get it to a certain rank in the gold saucers chocobo racing uh breed it rinse and repeat until you get a, a green one rinse and repeat until you get a blue one breed those together rinse and repeat until you get a black one i believe and then rinse and repeat after you breed the black one with a, a certain kind until you get a gold one and rinse and repeat uh, i might not actually have enough time to get a gold chocobo and get knights of the round which is annoying but you know it is what it is so now for the little bit of breakdown that i was promising you guys so now you guys have officially seen the you've officially seen the final portion of the game uh of the spoiler from the remake and to explain why i was so angry uh now you understand those of you who are watching the remake who have been following me this whole time who hadn't seen this game uh now you know why zach is so important now you know why saving him until now was so impactful he's mentioned once in passing in his home village but you don't really get a good view of what he looks like or who he is until that dream sequence basically that that subconscious sequence to do what they did in the remake at the end of it with zach shits all over everything that this game establishes and why it establishes it why it's so important uh so now you will you will kind of understand a little better why i was so angry when i played the end of the remake and why their creative choices where zach is concerned bothered me so much we'll see after um rebirth i think it's called the second one rebirth we'll see if I still feel that way as I see more of the story that they're fleshing out with this new like branching off multiverse thing that they're doing and we'll see if I still feel that way at that point but I wanted to at least get this far so people like Mayhem and people who've been kind of waiting for this can understand why I reacted so viscerally that's why because it's such an important aspect to Tifa's relationship with Cloud, Cloud's relationship with Tifa, their history, who Cloud is, and who, how Cloud views himself. It's so instrumental to all facets of it that without that, it changes a whole bunch of stuff in who Cloud ends up becoming. Now, there is one more thing where Zack is concerned that you'll see in one of the upcoming episodes for like side quest stuff that reveals what happened to Zack and where. Uh, but basically, if that doesn't happen the way it's supposed to, it changes everything about who Cloud is because Cloud basically showed up in Midgar at the beginning without his memories and thinking he was Zack because of what they went through and because of the whole losing of his memories thing in the, the Mako bath that he was soaking in. So, anyway... Uh, Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these retro episodes. Throw the video a thumbs up to uh, show your support so we can get some more eyes on the channel. And any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I tend to answer all comments personally. And until next time, take it easy, everybody. Later.